And this is Blue Over Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Divine Feminines. All right, so all of our DF, Empress, High Priestess, Energy only. If you in any way at all identify as a Divine Masculine Hunty, you can go ahead and get that. Because this reading right now is not for you. What? Not for you. Not for you. Hey, not for you. All right, I'm like, did she just do the beat in the ad-libs? I be doing it all when the song is on, honey. I love me some music. Let us go ahead and get right into this reading. My blue, you real comfortable this Merton. <laughs> real comfortable this Merton. So we have a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. All right, your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. All right, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Twin flames. Your passion ignites. All right. Okay. Okay. Romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. All right. Let's see what comes out here on the bit door. All right. Oh, we have sexual union. Go to the aunties. All right. So it says, honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. Okay. Now, this has been coming up a lot. From the cards that I have made as well, this person feels like you give them joy. You fill them with joy. Allow them to feel your bliss. Mm -hmm. All right. That's what this is saying. They want to honor you. That's been coming out a lot. Showing you appreciation. Okay. That's been coming out a lot. These cards flipped. So it says forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. Amen. You create your reality by what you think dream and imagine so if you're always sitting there thinking dreaming and imagining about negative things then you're attracting more negative things but if you're focusing on what it is that you want to attract then that is what you will see more of all right so always be mindful you may not always understand why certain things happen however there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. All right, so you've been going through it, and you're like, I don't understand why I've been going through it. Or this is you and your person been going through it. Okay, you're like, I really am not getting it. However, we have the dove, spiritual messenger, okay, Holy Spirit. Get the bigger picture. Everything happens for a reason. Of course, when we're going through it, we're not understanding. When somebody is ticking us off, when somebody betrays us, when we're lied to, when something doesn't work out in our favor, when things get delayed, when our friends aren't really friendly, when our lover is not really a lover. You know, we don't we don't understand those things. Okay? But I was reading something and it was talking about how when you are of a certain vibration, when you are a being of love, you're not going to understand those people who are operating in sickness. You're not going to understand it, but everything happens for a reason. So you have to trust that. You understand what I'm saying to you? Okay. Um, when you are being in love, and I could never have related to something so much in my life. That's what I've been saying my entire life. So when people be like, oh, she just thinks like, like, uh, like, I don't know, maybe she never been hurt before. Oh, you are absolutely out of your mind. If you, that's what you think. <laughs> it's just that I have a way of dealing with that pain because I understand that again i've come to understand and understand that love is about what you can give and what you can be for the world not what the world can give and be for you because so far i ain't seen it yet i ain't seen nobody be able to say here you go to the extent of which you get what i'm saying to to be that selfless no i have not so only time will tell you get what i'm saying they're saying only time will tell you will see what you need to see when that time comes you know there's like maybe one or two people who i know are selfless like that you know maybe one or two right so let us get into this reading you all let us see we're gonna pull some what's the underline here transformation your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things we've seen that balance okay or we saw that Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Okay, so, ooh, ooh. all right. I'm going to go here. I'm like, what's the name of that? I don't remember, y'all. No. I don't have the boxes out. I don't remember. 
okay sorry 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 so when i remember the decks i always tell you i'm like we're gonna go to the moonology or we're gonna go to the tarot of dreams or whatever but if i don't remember again forgive and forget so forgiveness is emphasized here in your reading okay so perhaps your person has been wanting to be close to you through sexual intimacy and due to you not being in that energy with them like you know not being able to let something go you can't really get into that groove but that's the groove they want to be in with you All right but this person feels like you're pushing them off so you're pushing them off for your own valid reasons of course it's not to say your feelings are not valid you know it's not to be dismissive of you at all right but it is to say that something is not for you anymore then let it all let it fall away all right yes be true to yourself there's a certain cards here that i'm gonna pick up hold on so be true to yourself what is this shine your light okay trust the divine plan All right, so we're going to put those in there. What's the underlining? Reflect on your truth. Okay. Trust the divine plan. Accept what is dying. Forgive and forget. Okay, like I said, transformation. You and your person are going through major shifts and changes. 555, tower moments, 999. Why? Because 1010, brand new beginning for 1111, the twin flames. Trust the divine plan. Again, you may not always understand why things happen. Be true to yourself when you are true to yourself the things that are for you the people that are for you are going to naturally be drawn to you okay therefore exactly shine your light therefore your soul family can see you they recognize you because again like i said in a reading i did yesterday i don't even know if i put it out yet or not but the people that are for you are not going to mind you shining your light they're going to be like shine shine more remember that thing you wanted to do go ahead and do it did you ever do that calendar you wanted to do and i don't know where that just came from that was random as hell. Somebody probably wants to make calendars and stuff. Those are things that people use all the time, stationary items. Why not? You get what I'm saying? So I don't know where that came from. But listen, don't stop. <laughs> Whatever it is that you want to do, do it. It doesn't have to look the exact same as what everybody else is doing. Who cares? Make your coin how you make your coin. And there's too many different ways nowadays to make a damn coin. You get what I'm saying? So, anyway, let's move forward. <clears throat> yeah we have reconciliation here person wants to reconcile with you immediately all right we have children so it'll be something here about child of children you could have also known them since you were child of children all right um you and this person may have child of children or small animals and this may be what they want to get away from with the retreat like they just want to get away from all of that and spend some time with you get back into um, like a like sexy time energy excuse me <laughs> we have engagement okay engagement here so either you are engaged to this person or you will be some of them could have been engaged and that's not working out some of you could have been in long-term relationships and that's not working out but it's because you're going to ascend to the next level with this person whoever your twin is all right it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment okay and that came out underneath a set what is dying so we got healing family issues. You know, there was some karmic ties or some karmic lessons that needed to be learned. Um, karmic is usually attached to our family, okay? So, it's something like that going on, okay? Usually, okay, family or people that we have child children with sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes, okay? Sometimes it's a part of some contracts, okay? Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Yeah, trust the divine plan. You may not understand that contract. But all of these things were discussed prior to even bringing us, you know, bringing ourselves back down here. I was trying to say the PG version. <laughs> Y'all talking about the babies be watching me. Blue gonna have to watch her mouth, all right? This is the romance of a lifetime. Because y'all said the babies, be they love my intro. And that's not the first time I heard that, right? Um, shout out to Miss Brenda. That's one of my soul sisters who's been supporting me for about 
three, four years now, okay? Um, especially when I used to be on Facebook heavy. But Miss Brenda used to always say that her son used to run in the room and be like, hey, everybody. <laughs> he loves it, right? And so I know that the kids used to watch, but that's when I was doing the Zodiac. Now that I'm talking about all this, I'm going to have to watch my mouth. Y'all said the babies be around. We can't be letting the babies hear all the stuff, you know what I'm saying? So Blue going to be watching her mouth. And over on the Patreon and the members only, I'm going to get a little more, okay, a little more spicy. So if you're not already over there, join us. And shout out to everybody who did because 20 of y'all, as members, what? 20 and counting? Like, that's a big deal. You got to celebrate the small things, the big things, the in-between things, honey. I am excited. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. And because of it, I have like three readings in the chamber coming for y'all. So stay tuned, okay? But this is true love, okay? If we did not already acknowledge that. All right? Because Blue over here running her mouth. This is the romance of a lifetime, okay? This is the romance of a, a lifetime, new love either this person is brand new or this is someone like i said you've known since childhood they're coming back you're getting that renewal there's someone that um feels like they were immature when you guys met and they're ready now they have matured a lot okay they have a lot of new tricks up their sleeve or something like that but it says a new person has stared your romantic feelings great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so if this person is being guided by spirit to Um, if, if this person is being guided by spirit to, uh, make the effort, take the steps, that's what they're going to do. All right, let's pull some messages of love and then wrap this thing on it up. The next one, I'm going to go ahead and do a tarot reading. If you guys are not already subscribed, please do. I'm going to be putting a poll up in regards to lives, okay, so you guys can let me know. Um, what time y'all trying to go live? It'll more than likely be like weekends, okay? And of course, around the schedule. I'll block it out. That's what I'm saying. I have to know. We have to pick a time and stick to it. I can block it out on my calendar. See, something about calendar coming up again. So what's going on with calendar? Like whoever it is out there want to make your calendars and planners and whatever you got going on, go ahead, hold it down, POP, make it. All right, we have obsession. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. Okay, so this person could feel like they think about you all the time. Um, they think about how they did something to you that caused interference. Okay, now with the sexual union, forgive and forget children, obsession, someone, I'm telling you, somebody here could have child or children with their twin flame. Your child or um, children may not, hmm, how do I put this? Your child or children, we're not even going to go there. Anyway, moving forward, you may have child or children with this person. Um, if you didn't see the videos from yesterday, go and check that out. I feel like some of this has been mentioned in that reading, so I'm not even going to go there. This is, we're not, we're not touching that right now. <laughs> All right, but in the event that you have child or children with this person, for some of you, that person may have been immature at the time they weren't ready. So that could be what they need your forgiveness for. We'll just say that, okay? Now, moving forward, in the event that some of you were in other situations, those things are dying off. Uh, they were in other situations, those things are dying off. You know, there's a version of yourself that's dying off. It's the second time that true love is being mentioned. So I feel like so the reason why somebody thinks about you in an obsessive way is because they feel like you're their true love. They're never going to get another one. You get one true love and that's it. You can love someone truly. It doesn't mean that they love you truly. It's true love when two people love each other the same. So you love them truly. They love you truly. That's true love. Okay. So yeah, someone feels like. Okay. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Hmm. Mm-hmm. You already know the answers you seek. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. Unplug, okay? So I feel like maybe someone spends a lot of time at work. You know, again, make the effort. So it's like Spirit is telling them like, hey, you know, enjoy your person. Spend time with your person. Don't just work so much. Okay? Yeah, because in a plan, in a plan, <laughs> Well, that, that came out on purpose, I guess. Because right here it says, trust the divine plan. In the past, okay, this person or you could have treated it like, you know what? All right, cool. Got what I needed out of it. Thanks. You know, or something. Because, <clears throat> but your soul remembers this intense connection. So while one of you treated it like, oh, okay, 
wipe my hands. The other one already knew what it was. Uh-huh. So this is what you guys are forgiving each other for. Okay. Letting it go. Letting it go. Okay. But in order for something to be let go of, it has to be properly addressed. So this is making me feel like it has not been. We have mastery. Forgiveness. Okay. So someone has learned the lesson. They get it now. So if that's the case, and forgiveness has been mentioned once, twice, three, four, five times, then I feel like that's just what it is. All right. In order for you to master love in order for you to master this situation you're going to have to master forgiveness true genuine forgiveness really forgiving the love of your life for not having known better when they didn't know better they did it okay they absolutely positively did not yeah see rejection <laughs> they absolutely positively did not they did not know what to do with you so imagine them having gotten you then what would they have done with it honestly so, yeah, we have for forgiveness and, again, addiction. Somebody could have been dealing with addictions, and we have children. Exactly. Children are important to this partnership. Obstacles. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. And addiction is affecting this relationship. Somebody could have addiction or addictions. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. Okay? So, in whatever way you choose to move forward is on you, but that will help you move forward. Okay? I said I was going to end it there, but I decayed my BFF gel. Got a little more in me. Right. Okay, let us see. One more. Work through your fears, all right? So I know you really want to be with this person and you want to um, at least reconcile with this person because that's why it's coming up in this energy today for those of you who are reading for. However, you know, you're afraid to let this person back in because... A scorpion is a scorpion, right? So it's like, again, you just don't want to feel that sting again. You know what I'm saying? You love somebody from all the way over there, but don't want to feel that sting again or something like that. But also be like, again, child or children. If you are a parent, your child or children is going to be around. If someone said, oh, you know, I don't want to deal with people with child or children, well, that means they don't want to deal with you. True love or no true love. You know that your child or children isn't going anywhere. <laughs> so what can you do about that? You get what I'm saying? It's like, oh, you don't want to deal with Okay, what can you do about that? Your child or children is not going anywhere. What you going to do? Forget about your child or children because of them? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, no. Right? You know, some women do shit like that. Not true mothers. True mothers ain't doing shit like that. True mothers are not going to choose <laughs> their man that they done just met over their child, you know, or a man, period, you know, over their destiny. I'm sorry. Sorry. Now, the child being disrespectful and, you know, it's, it's, it's other things that go into it according to the Bible and all this other stuff. And, you know, the situation and how it, you know, yes, the Bible, blah, blah, blah. But real facts, too. You know, like, how is this person treating your child and all that other shit? But no, sir, we're not doing that. Okay, sorry. So we have a new start is coming. Okay. A new start is coming. Show the world the real you. So, yeah, shine your light. This person feels like you don't really have a good idea of who they are because they gave you a, a bad taste. They put a bad taste in your mouth or they showed you a bad version of themselves. So now they have to be true to who they are at this point so you can see who they really are and understand that, oh yes, this is true love. Alright, but yeah, it says luck is on your side. So spirit is guiding them to do it. You know, it says bring love into the situation. Yeah, spirit is guiding them to do it, but totally up to them. Alright, so if this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Also, go ahead and comment as to what day, time. Just make a suggestion as to when you think we should go live, okay? Not the premieres where we're putting the videos up and y'all talking, but live. So when y'all talking to me, I'm talking right back. It's going to be a good time, don't you think? Let me know. Alright, peace and haggery.